know this is a problem solving question this is from the topic rates it's a word problem this question is interesting from two perspectives one it is a good question to understand the basics of how to frame equations for rates questions especially these work time questions these equations are framed a little different from how we normally frame equations so getting these basics in place is important we'll do that the second thing is the way this question is worded is a little more interesting too so let's find out how to solve this question right let's start with the question itself a can complete a task in a days and b in b days they take turns in doing the task with each working two days at a time if a starts they finish the task in exactly 10 days if b starts they take half a day more how long does it take to complete the task if they work together right this is a question five answer choices are given as i quickly scan through the answer choices i find that none of these answer choices is an integer so there is some calculation involved and we'll have to figure out how to go about it right step one we'll understand what is the approach and what we are going to do with this question right i have broken down the approach into four steps right the first one we'll understand the relation between time taken and the rate of work done so this is step one we'll understand this basics we'll use that to translate what is given in words into expression for this question we'll actually frame equations for the words given in this equation right actually if you look at it the crux of any word problem in the gmat is primarily to test your ability to translate words into mathematical expression right though the final answer is solving those equations solving the equation is e usually an easy part what is more difficult is to frame these equations the third step is we'll solve the equation which i've framed in step 2 and finally the last step hold on this is what i've always been insisting after you found the value for the equation uh, the variables in the equation check to see whether that is what you need to find out you might have found an answer for a and b the question might ask you for 2a minus 3b check out if that is what it is if that's the case then we'll actually find that value and finish the question right so what we're going to do is we're going to understand the relationship between time taken to do a work and the rate at which work is done let's start with some simple scenarios if a takes a days to complete a task let's say a takes 20 days to complete the task then the rate at which a is working is actually this a completes 1 by a of the task each day so in our example where i said a takes 20 days to complete the task in a day a will complete 1 by 20th of the task so if the question reads something like this if a takes 20 days and b takes 30 days to complete a task it will be absolutely ridiculous to say that a and b working together complete the task in 50 days right if a alone took 20 days to complete the task with b coming and helping a to complete the task or working with a to complete the task the total time taken should be lesser than the smaller of these two which is actually 20 right he could complete it in 20 days if b helped him then they should complete it in lesser than 20 days if you frame an equation saying that they completed it in 50 days then actually it meant that they are doing something other than actually working on the task that is given to them so the way to go about framing such equations is basically this we'll say that a completed the task in 20 days so in a day a will complete 1 by 20th of the task so this is our step 1 and then we'll say b completed the task in 30 days so b will complete 1 by 30th of the task in a day so these are the starting points for us so any time when we say a completed the task in a day we're going to write a completed 1 by a of the task in a day the last step is basically adding these two so in a day a and b will complete 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30th of the task solve for this you get an answer saying that a and b completed 1 by 12th of the task in a day so if 1 by 12th of the task is completed in a day they're going to complete the entire task in 12 days so this is the core of solving any rates question if they tell you that a completed the task in 40 days blindly the first step they're going to do is say that a will complete 1 by 40th of the task in a day and start from there there's a part 2 to it we'll quickly understand that aspect too and then move on right the question read something like this a takes a days to complete the task and b takes b days to complete the task quite similar to how our question is worded and they say that they complete the task together in 10 days framing an equation saying a plus b is equal to 10 does not make sense this essentially tells us that a and b both numbers are less than 10 so for example let's say let me say a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 4 
So that is what the 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 equation could be possible. It could be a 2 plus 8, it could be something. I'm just going with a 6 plus 4. Go with the same logic that we said. If A could complete the task in 6 days, if B helped him, the final time taken should actually be lesser than 6. We seem to be saying this is 10. So this equation is incorrect. So what we should actually be doing is, if A completes the task in A days, the first step is as usual, A will complete 1 by A of the task in a day. And we'll say B will complete 1 by B of the task in a day. If together they completed the task in 10 days, in a day they actually complete 1 by 10th of the task. So what will be the correct equation? The correct equation is this. 1 by A plus 1 by B is actually equal to 1 by 10. So this is how you frame equations when it comes to work time questions which are based in rates. Right. So last recapping what we have done till now. It's basically this. In all these work time questions, you can only add the rate of work done. You cannot add or subtract the time taken to do the work. Right. So you'll always add 1 by A, 1 by B. You can subtract 1 by B from 1 by A. You can do all of that. You can't do A, B where A and B stand for the amount of time taken by A and amount of time taken by B to complete the task. So we'll move on to step 2. In step 2, we're actually going to do what this question demands is translate words into mathematical expressions. Right. Start with what it basically says. This is what we have. A can complete a task in A days and B can complete a task in B days. So the first step, as I said, not even going to think, I'm going to say in a day, A will complete 1 by A of the task and in a day, B will complete 1 by B of the task. This is our first step. The question says that they take turns in doing the task with each working two days at a time. So if A works and completes 1 by A of the task in a day, if A worked for two days, A will complete 2 by A of the task. If B comes in and works for two more days, B will complete 2 by B of the task. So let's say together A worked for six days in this entire spectrum of 10 days. How much work will A do? If he does 1 by A of the task in a day, he will actually be doing 6 by A of the task in six days. So if A does 1 by A of the task and if he works for K days, he will complete k by a of the task. So this is the first perspective, part one of translating words into equation. We'll actually go and plug in and complete this part. It says, if a starts, they finish the task in exactly 10 days. And keep this in mind, they're working two days at a time. So a will work, which all days? A is going to start the work. So a will work on day one and day two. Then b will work for the next two days, day three and day four. A will again come back and work on day 5 and day 6. B will work on day 7 and day 8. And A will complete the task on day 9 and day 10. Right? So they take turns to work two days at a time. So this is how they're going to work. So what all days did A work? A worked on 1, 2, 5, 6, 9, 10. So A has worked for 6 days out of these 10 days. And B has worked for 4 days out of these 10 days. If A works for one day, A completes 1 by A of the task. A has worked for 6 days. So the equation for us is going to be A will complete 6 by A of the task. Right? So this is what our first part of the equation is. B has worked for 4 days. So B will complete 4 by B of the task. So in these 10 days, A has contributed 6 by A of the fraction of the work to be done. B has done 4 by B of the fraction of the work to be done. Together the, the work is done and over by the 10th day, they have done one full task. So 6 by A plus 4 by B is equal to 1. This is going to be equation 1 for us. Let's move on to the second statement and frame the second equation. The second statement reads as follows. If B starts, they take half a day more. If A started, they finish the task in exactly 10 days. Now, how many days are they going to take? They are going to take half a day more. So the work is going to get done in 10.5 days. We will run through the process of when all A worked, when all B worked in this situation too. The first two days B worked. Third day and fourth day it's going to be A. Fifth and sixth it's B. Seven and eight it's A. Nine and ten it's B. The work did not get done in 10 days. They took actually half a day more. By the cycle, who should come to work? Should be A. 
so a text works in the last half a day so now let's quickly check out how many days did a work a worked on days 3 4 7 8 and another half a day so a has worked for 4.5 days i'll write it as a fraction for sake of convenience this is equal to 9 by 2 days so a has worked totally for 9 by 2 days how many days did b work b worked on 3 4 7 8 so sorry b has worked on 1 2 5 6 and 9 10 so b has actually worked for 6 days so a has worked for 9 by 2 days and b has worked for 6 days if b worked for 6 days in these 6 days b is going to complete 6 by b of the task because each day he completes 1 by b of the task if a works for 9 by 2 days a is obviously going to complete 9 by 2 a of the task together in this scenario also the entire task is over so the equation is going to be 9 by 2 a plus 6 by b is equal to 1 So this is equation two. So completed step two of this question in the four steps that we wanted to do. The third step is basically solving these two equations to find the value for a and b. These are the two equations: six by a plus four by b is equal to one. Nine by two a plus six by b is equal to one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first equation with a one point five. So the first equation is going to become six into one point five is a nine. So nine by a. 4 into 1.5 is a 6, so 6 by b. 1 into 1.5 is equal to 1.5. Second equation, I'm going to retain it as it is. So this is 9 by 2a plus 6 by b is equal to 1. Let's subtract the first equation, second equation to the first one. This subtracted 6 by b, 6 by b gets cancelled. 9 by a minus 9 by 2a is like half of 9 by a. So 9 by a minus half of 9 by a will leave us with half of 9 by a, which is nothing but 9 by 2a. 9 by 2a is equal to 1.5 minus 1, which is nothing but a 1 by 2. So we cancel these two twos. So what we get is a is equal to 9. So we found out the number of days that a takes to complete the task. A takes nine days to complete the task. Let's plug in the value of a as 9 in this equation. So what we have is 9 by a, which is 9 by 9, plus 6 by b, is equal to 1.5. 9 by a is nothing but 1. So this 1 goes to the right hand side. So we have 6 by b is equal to 0.5, which is nothing but 1 by 2. Cross multiply to find the value of b. B is equal to 12. So a is equal to 9. B is equal to 12. Is this what we need to find out? The question is. How long will they take to complete the task if they work together? That's the last step. We realize that A takes nine days to complete the task and B takes twelve days to complete the task. So if they work together, they're going to complete in a day. A will complete one by ninth of the task. In a day, B will complete one by twelfth of the task. So in a day, they're going to complete one by nine plus <coughs> excuse me, one by twelfth of the task. The LCM for both these numbers is equal to 36. So this is four times plus three times. So working together, they complete seven by 36 of the task in a day. This is what is done in one day when A and B work together. We need to find out the number of days they will take to complete the task, which is actually the reciprocal of this. So A and B working together will take 37, 36 by seven days. So this is the answer. So answer choice D is the correct answer.